Greetings, everyone. So we have a uh, Craftsman uh, chainsaw. Now this this chainsaw in particular, with this handle, it's a little disassembled and parts are missing. So we're gonna have to cobble together uh, two chainsaws to make one. So this kind of like sits here, something like this. It's attached to another handle, a front handle that's here, but that's missing. Uh, let's see what we have. We have a primer bulb. Looks like it's it's aging. It's still it's still got fuel in there. That's for sure. Um, is that oil? Well, that looks like some kind of oil. Let's take a look. Yeah, bar and chain oil. And this is a. Uh, Forty okay, it takes a forty to one. You can see it right there. Fuel mixture, oil and fuel. Um, is that produced in nineteen ninety eight? Is that what that means? Most likely, I already put a past date, right? Probably. It's forty two cc's, um, model number three five eight dot three five one five eight zero we have uh what is that choke yep that's a choke okay um over here looks like we have an on and off okay and uh this here is throttle and this locks, I'm assuming. So you push up, yeah, there you go. That uh, locks the uh, throttle. How do you release? Okay, just push, pull down and release that. And uh, we're missing chain on this thing, so. Get out of the way. All right, so the chain is uh, Missing, so I don't know. The bolts are at least. This. When I look this up, it looks like it has uh, the capacity to have. Oh, it came with an 18 inch chain, I think. But I think the chain I have on the other one's like 16. This is where the uh, handle screws in, the front handle. Alright, so uh, let's just uh, see if it, uh, let's see if it pulls so it start. Nope, not gonna work with one hand. Yeah, that turns it over. Okay, the pull starts a little weird how it just hangs out like that. Okay, so we'll do all the usual. So we can do it. So let's pull these screws off. We have, uh, what do you think, 220s? Yeah, let's try T25. Yeah. So this shroud, I'm sure to pull the shroud off, so... See if we can get to the um, spark plug. Like they want to come out. That's fine. It's not easily anyway. Okay, so we have a pretty clogged filter. Well, wow, that's dirty.
What are the chances of getting the right spark plug? Hmm. Let me uh, let me grab a spark plug. Uh. Three fourths. What I'm hoping to see here is the condition of this uh, spark plug, which will reveal how the engine was running. So it's pretty dark, right? So because it's so dark and carboned up, I bet you it's pretty. Um, you won't be able to see, but I'm pretty sure inside of that is going to look like a burnt up mess. Yeah, the uh, cylinder piston heads all dirty with carbon. So. Hmm. for sure. Uh, hmm. Let's see if it'll try to run. Yeah, put a little fuel in there. Yeah, we can do it. can run. That's a good sign.
gonna throw up putting the cap on. It's so hard. believer hope you're a believer too before we go any further we really need to check and see this is our sacrificial saw some parts are missing from that one so let's see if they actually will fit yeah, this is a 530 seconds so I needed this front handle Again, this is a uh, five thirty seconds. And because of the thread pitch, we are going into screws. We're going into plastic, so that goes there, the front guard there. Don't know if that comes off. smaller. So it does have to come off. That's uh, definitely a finer thread. So it's a finer thread one. This is the one that came up before. It was a little shorter than the other two. No, they're all the same. Those three came off all the same. Okay. Well, this should, okay. So that. but not the same, I don't think.
something like that. Oops. So this is what's different. Uh, they changed the handle here. Yeah, they did. Hmm. All right, we'll look around, look at it for a little bit. So it does feel like it will work. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. I had to get this off of there. That's attached to the um, cylinder head. So just pull these off. filter sure looks new okay. this is a t25 by the way So some of you might be wondering why not just try to work with this song, right? Well, uh, this handle, I don't know what's going on in here, you know? I was just trying to see if this looks like a cleaner, better saw to me, you know? But I, I, don't, I don't really know, so for sure. I don't, know what, I don't really know what's wrong with it, you know? So we'll take this out, put this here for now. This, this should come around. Like that. Dude, I just totally forgot. Ugh. So, uh, it looks like the best this is handles just a little different uh, right here where the um, spring loads against the cylinder head. It's a little higher, so it looks like uh, I won't be able to use the uh, spring there. But these two holes line up, right? So let's just put those. Let's just see if we can screw those in and see what we can do. See what we can work with. figure out why uh, there's no washer on um, on these two here. And 
this here should just screw it into the first hole right here. Famous last words. And it should. Oh, I see. I got it wrong. Right. So, the washer one is the one that goes there against the material. Okay, we're just testing this to make sure that this uh, handle will work. And so far, it looks good. Is why it shouldn't work. This kind of goes into this material and out the other side. There we go, like that. It goes down in here. That's our proof of concept. We know that that's going to work. I want to show you the uh, some of the issues I'm seeing here. So if you look down inside of here, you can see that it's pretty. Uh, it's got a lot of oil and fuel just kind of like sitting at the bottom. We had a fuel line that is uh, separate, separated right here. So that must have. Uh, you know, failed. <laughs> Got hard, brittle. So I think we should pull this carburetor. We're gonna have to pull this whole thing apart. And it doesn't look like there's nothing. There's no simple way around. All right, this is a five sixteenths. This works. I know this. Here's the air filter uh, housing. Let me take that off. We just need to get as much of the shrouded parts of this motor off so we can. Uh, let's get a better look. So it looks like uh, this fuel line here went into here, the top, and then it, uh, oh, let's see what the anatomy of this is. Okay, so it went from here, top carburetor went down and around the smaller fuel line that is, and into the, um, the fuel tanks here. Let's see which one is the, uh, okay, this bottom one here, this bottom one goes to the primer bulb, the 
this here, sorry, this goes around and to the left side of the primer bulb, whatever that one is, which is the smaller connection. It looks like the primer bulb has another line, the bigger line comes out, and goes down on this side. So that's the uh, that's the plumbing for that. The hoses that is. Um, can we pull this off? It has uh, something holding it on here. All right, let's just get some more stuff off. Let's take this shroud off. T25. Nope. Nope. So. T20. T15. No, it's not. <laughs> it looks like a looks like a Phillips, actually. Phillips or flathead. Let's try the flathead. We have four of these, so that's going to remove the um, the pull start. That's this is what it looks like to me. There's like oil right here, so the engine's pretty pretty leaky. Um, okay, we have flywheel, magneto, and there's fuel in here because of that uh, primer bulb. Okay, because there's fuel and there wasn't any when I pressed it, that means the bigger line that goes into the uh, tank, which is the only one that's connected. That one has got to be the fuel line. The top one, the smaller one's going to be the uh, the return. Yeah. So now, yeah. I should just get this off. What size is that? Is there a clutch? Okay, we had to clean all this off. Spark plug.
here's your high and low right here high and low so adjusters uh -huh. I want to disconnect this uh, yeah choke so we're gonna slide that up and does that just come right out believe it does. Just gonna squeeze on it I think. It's just like too plastic uh it's a little dirty. So. Just wanna squeeze this through. Gotta be careful because these things are so brittle as they get older, you know. A lot of linkage here. It kind of snakes in around. There's a screw right here that holds the carburetor. Um, Alright, so I didn't really figure out what I needed to figure out, but uh, I'm going to try to pull this um, the side piece off here. So Phillips in there. I couldn't. I don't have a Phillips. It easily fits on that. So. so that kind of just sits on the uh, side of the carburetor with the high and low screws. I think it just kind of comes off, but I'm not really sure. Looks like the high and low screws have a limiter on them. Yeah, so this, I mean, it's loose now, but there's no, it's not attached to the. So what I see happening here is like uh, there are some screw, there's a screw back here, and there's a screw back there. Sorry, back here, back here. And uh, it's um, something is uh, holding the carburetor itself. Before we go too far, this is the uh, screw here. Looks like a pointy one. That was the one that was. Uh, in here. So looks like it looks like an idle screw to be honest with you. So it's pretty funny. I should just trust myself, you know. It's just it, I mean obviously it's a carburetor that's attached, but it's not like there's no screw that's going through other than those two, which is like every other carburetor on two strokes. So you should be able to separate it, right? So all I did was jam my uh my screw in here, just push on it like that, and then uh, sure enough, it's separated from back there. So now I should be able to slide the carburetor off. At least now I get access to the to the linkage right here. This is the um, uh, okay. This linkage here kind of snakes around. Throttle. Hmm. Can we get more space? I'm gonna have to take some stuff off. Here. There you go. Okay. There you go. 
So now I can get that off like that. See? So. Good job. Carburetor. <laughs> Alright, what's next? I got a gasket, the first one. You see it? Okay. It's a first gasket. So this here is just attached. I think I should be able to get access to that if I open up this case a little bit more. Like separate it. Now, what do you think's inside of that? Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's try to drain. eventful. Let's get this magneto off. It looks like it's the same size as the other. Yeah, 530 seconds. So. There, there's one right here, so I'm gonna push this out so I don't get to it. Definitely go into plastic. Very, they're same. They're the same as the others, really. Okay. So what we want to do is get. Okay, we're gonna have to disconnect some cable in here. So, so this like slides around the side here. Looks like uh, we are attached right here to the kill switch. So, can you see? Yeah. Okay, so, we're going to just kind of slide it off. Gonna push that down some so I can I'm grab at it. I need to grab and pull. Because I see. I see. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, chill out on that one for a second. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, get the magneto free. Okay, that was like that. I forget. Might want to leave that alone, I think, and just 
No, we're gonna still have to. Yeah, we're still gonna have to disconnect. All right. Well, the engine should drop right off. Using those four screws. What do you think they are? Quarter inch? Nope. They're uh, five sixteenths. So. Does this undo? Wow. Okay. That was there. That's there. Oh, okay. So, let's see. That's different. Very different. These two are all the same. Okay. This one's different from the others. It's got a... It's got a little bit of a ridge. Right here. Okay. All right, so that one's different. We're going to have to pay attention to that. in there. Off is that way. So I'm going to turn it so the piston sits all the way at the bottom. I could just grab the uh, 
flywheel over there. If I want to remove this clutch pro, that's another way to do it, but off is that way. So how can we do this? Let's see clutch. You know what I gotta do? I gotta like screw this back down, pull that off first. Yeah, let's do that. So I got the right tool. Uh, it's a call an adjustable pin wrench. Here, you know. Uh, Alright, so you just kind of like turn it in. It's not from the, not, not from my favorite store, but whatever. I'm just gonna go with it. See if it'll work. Start the depression. Okay. Why does it always have to be such a cheap tool? design. This, <laughs> you tighten it up and it's still loose. Uh, I hate this. The store in particular sells cheap stuff. Mm. So that's how we do it. Oh my god, finally. To get the right tool. So this tool is the same tool that you can find on uh, to and use to adjust like our um, grinders to take uh to take the um you know the head off. Right, so there you go. So that's that. That's it. And that has a uh, like a washer on it. All right, so the uh, I took the, the the two screws off underneath here. I mean the three, four. There was four. I took you know three was attached, but then so I got uh, this um, right here. The engines should be pretty free right now to pull right out. Um, I gotta get this kill switch here. I'm gonna disconnect it. And uh, there's a. It's got to be a. There's a lot of wiring over here. See? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to re redo that, am I not? Well, that's not good at all. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> that. Uh, that sucked. All right, well, there you go. So what do we have? We have a ground right here. Don't screw that. Unclip this. What's happening with this thing here? Hmm. That is a like a clip. Kind of slides 
underneath. Like that. So it just kind of goes underneath and slides into there and holds that together. So that's that clip. And so now the magneto is out of the way. I'm going to have to redo the wiring on that. That goes to the yellow. Okay. And then we have I believe that that was there. Yeah, so this this um oiler looked like this. I think it was like that. No. There you go. So that this oiler was clogged, getting clogged with the basically the saw just needed a lot of love, you know. So anyway. okay, so let us see what else we have. So we know the ground is free now. Alright. Throttle linkage is free. This gasket here that thing this hair sits down inside of there like that so there's a nice little lip to it so we're going to clean that all right here we go so get that out of there So, oh gosh, this thing is just a mess. Okay, so we have a flywheel here. Is there not a gasket down there? Hmm, like right here. Should be one. Yeah, there is one. There's a gasket here. At least what's left of one. Or not a gasket, it's probably just a... Uh, yeah, it looks like some silicon RTV was placed there. So I'm not really sure if uh, if that is supposed to be a gasket or some silicon RTV. Either way, this gets. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We have a piston here. I can use a little bit of love. Okay. All right. So we got a lot of cleaning to do. Some rewiring also. Um, yeah, cleaning, rewiring. Hmm. I wonder if we can just like pull this. Cause you see that those long screws were going into there. I wonder if we can just kind of like just pull this. Yeah, we can. It totally moves. Uh huh. So we can just kind of get this whole like rack and pinion. No, it's more like a camshaft. up and out of the way wants to move but I don't know uh, just some how far it wants to move Let's see what's holding it maybe okay there's two screws right here holding this onto the body Alright, it's very possible that uh, that might need to be undone because it's like it's just being held right here. Hmm. 
Well, let's get this off. Those two little screws, they obviously go into plastic. Hmm. Yeah, definitely I was holding it. So it looks like uh, it's part of the oiler. Oops. Well, <laughs> well there you go. <laughs> so that fell out. <laughs> that was like that. Um, let's see if there's anything special about it. Uh, okay, the piston is. Uh, Oh, the piston has failed. Yeah, the ring has failed. Yeah. Can you see? Probably not. I'll pull it out so you can take a look. I'm sure it's compromised the way this thing ran. Okay. Look at that. See the, uh, right there? So that, that piston ring's no good. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh huh. Okay, it's, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Okay. So, is anything special about that? Tell it needs a little love. Uh huh. So the oil, barn train oil, it you put in here. It seems like it feeds through here onto the chain itself. Yeah. All right. All right cool. So hey, listen. Um, this is this is this is really neat. I am enjoying the, uh, the the debauchery that's happening right now. So hey, listen. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, let us uh, we'll, you know, clean this stuff up and uh, break it down and put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. You know, at least the parts that are not plastic. That is. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. Let's get the uh, muffler off. Now this is uh, about sixteenths, yeah. Gasket. Yeah, that's a gasket. Okay, we have two so far. Right. And then we have um, this is five twelfths. This is the uh, carburetor adapter.
another gasket. <clears throat> it's three, three gaskets. See that? It was like that. Okay, there are three gaskets. Have, uh, there's two, two uh, okay. Interesting, they just sat in there. All right, these two here, they're very, they're very common, this this metal, going into metal. Those, I'm sorry, did you just see? Those two are, went into there. Okay, that was from that. an interesting one. Extra part. Not sure why they did that. Maybe they didn't want to redo the actual shape of the cylinder block. Couldn't tell you. Anyway, so that's that. That's that. So those two, I think, does that separate easily? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. What other stuff do we have to look at here? Probably don't want to make, take these out, right? So those two here. I'll give that a good clean. All right. So this piston head right here, and this ring. I'm gonna figure out a strategy for this one here. Yeah. Okay. So I want to get some fuel lines off of this, and uh, yeah, they're all brittle, so they're kind of like just, you know, <laughs> falling apart. And uh, this one here didn't. What does that one attach to? Let's go inside this fuel container and take a look. Well, the, it's good to know. Fuel filter is uh, disconnected. Uh, that failed a long time ago. <laughs> you know. So can I grab? Okay, so that's the uh, smaller line. Oh, that's going to be a chore to get back in place. Oh, God. Yeah, I can see it already. Uh, no, that was easy. Okay. And so is that. Okay, so that, that, um, okay, well, it came through. That's a good part. So, have a whole lot of stuff in there. Got a fuel filter. Mm hmm. Of some kind of like screen or something like that. I don't I think it was probably a part of the uh, I think it was part of the gas tank or something. Some kind. Thing out. I don't know what what it is. Oh, there we go. What is that? And I can think about it since it's a good 
probably was a part of the gas tank. Yeah, I don't know what, what that is. Uh, I know that I can't get it out. That's, that's what I do now. Not, at least not easily. Okay. Well, anyway, that's that. Um, this here... If I look deep inside, I can see a... Uh, a fuel... like, adapter. Those little adapters that I always see. We can just push it there from the top. So that's what was in there. Okay. Oops. Okay, the throttle linkage. That just fell off. Okay. We're almost there. There's pretty much nothing left. Maybe we can uh, take a look at that and clean that off and see what's going on with the oiler. This is inside of there, so that means that was attached to this. Okay. Okay, that's what that ha that's what happened to that. So the barn chain oil went in here, and uh, looks like pumped out of here. That hose right there. Okay, we'll just get out of cleaning. All right, looks good. All right, you know, let's uh, let's put that to the side and uh, let's take a look at this uh, carburetor. Put that back on. Okay, so let's let's talk about let's talk about the carburetor. So this carburetor has um, two limiter screws, and uh, they are stopping me from getting this off. And uh, so I'm thinking I can just pull them off. Yep, there you go. That's one. That's two. 
and, and uh, that should slide right off. See, and that's what you're, uh, that's what it's hiding. It's preventing me from actually, it will prevent you from fine tuning the, um, this would be the, uh, that's the low side. Just closest to the throttle and the high sides for this away low and then high and uh we have what do we have this is, this is a walled row carburetor what kind of wall bro it's 830 so what that says looks like it says 830 830 WT324. So that's the carb kit we're going to need for this. All right. I'm going to leave this attached. I'm just going to take the uh, unscrew that and pull it off. Yeah. Okay, I need to disassemble this saw. So it's going to be a little time lapsed. Bag it up because I've got to get, pull some parts off of it. I need the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, piston ring. This blade. Um, yeah, well, there's that thing. That's about it. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. Hmm. The saw was never meant to be the saw to replace the other one. It's just a saw used to uh, grab parts off of.
okay, so we can get this piston out, right? And this piston has uh, a groove with a, like a snap ring sitting inside of it. So what you want to do is uh, turn this until that bottom part right there, the snack ring, is exposed and go underneath it. It's going to lift it out like that. Be careful, it's got some tension on it. In other words, you don't, you don't want it to go flying away. To get in a little bit more comfortable position. There you go. So don't lose that. Cover that out. Make sure to push the piston right out, I think. Just kind of push on it like that. to come out, that's for sure. Okay, so let's look at the orientation of this before we proceed. Um, on this side here, to the flywheel, is where the uh, retainer ring was. So we're going to have to uh, keep that orientation. Definitely coming out. Now have this rule, if it's hard to get out, it's going to be hard to get in. So, hoping that's not my reality. Okay. I just pull it out. Yep. Right, that thing is 
Ridiculous. Now, at this point, right, I could have just left this attached to that, call it a quits, but I wanted to pull it out and clean it, you know. I'm going to need a new, um, the Baron is fine for this, but I need to get it, um, it's an oil seal. So, yeah, you can see it's all destroyed here. So. All right, well that's that. I'm gonna leave that like that, and so I can just tap it back in with ease. This uh, sat like this, so that way I know. All right. So upon further inspection of the muffler, you can see there is a crack that just kind of pushed in. Unsure why that happened right there. So maybe the other muffler and the other one's better. Uh, this comes apart here. We got a baffle. So we're gonna have to clean all this. I'm just gonna put that in the ultrasonic cleaner with the other things here, like that. Alright, so we got a lot of interesting things we gotta do here. We gotta replace the oil seal with that. I looked at it already. It comes with a bearing and the oil seal. You could buy the oil seal by itself, but it seems like it's uh, coming directly from China. It's gonna take a while. I don't have a lot of time. We have two, three gaskets. Piston needs to be clean. That's new to clean. We got a whole bunch of other stuff to clean. Cylinder head. We're gonna clean that. Uh, you know, all these here. We gotta get a new. Um, I'm gonna leave this attached. We gotta get a, uh, you know, a new carb kit for this. This is a Walbro uh, WT324. So we got a carb kit for this. All right, so that's next. So let's just go ahead and uh, clean it, and then uh, we'll wait and see uh, what happens in uh, a couple of days. Well, which looks like a snapshot to you. So we should get this uh, piston ring off, since we're not gonna use it anymore. And uh, just to help get this area clean also, and the ultrasonic cleaner, you know. It's all inside of there, you wanna, the groove is gonna get carboned up and dirty so over time, so you wanna get that cleaned up. We'll put that in the ultrasonic cleaner along with this.